In the last video, we went through the main quest line of the campaign, and after deciding not to report back to Earth, we are left with this broken rift station that we can't move or sell, so I'm just gonna leave it there as a monument to free will. And over here, I have some cultivators and harvesters already producing titanium, and I definitely need to start growing palladium and uranium. But before that, let me show you my titanium farm in the volcanic biome. So here we are in the volcanic biome. I have two separate farm areas and I set up two harvesters for every cultivator, which is a little bit overkill but they seem to harvest faster compared to using just one harvester. I could be wrong though, so let me know what you think. As for the crop, I'm using the tentacle fungus, and they give a little bit of verdinite as a nice bonus as well. For the irrigation, I have a geothermal vent and hooked up the mud produced there to several filters and connect them to the cultivators. The second farm also has the same setup, one geothermal power plant connected to four filters supplying clean water to the farms. We had an earthquake not long ago and a vein just opened up in the middle of the farm, which is nice. So that's my titanium farm. Now we'll go to acidic plains and start growing palladium. Okay, this is my base in the acidic plains. As you can see, the deposits are long gone, so I think I'll just pack up and leave. Also, I haven't really explored this biome yet, so we'll take a look around and find a good spot for farming. When exploring any biome, it's very important to scan the animals and plants with the bioscanner. And if there's a lot of specimen to be scanned, you can always leave a bioscanner turret and let it scan for you. This area is very promising. There's a geothermal vent and also sludge which can be processed into gas which can then be harnessed into power. But we're on the edge of the map here, so we have no choice but to build to the left, or west. Or just left, since we can't rotate the camera anyway. So this is the base so far, I've built some fortifications around the perimeter and there's enough room for a couple of cultivators here. Let's put one down here. Or maybe start from over here. I'll set up just a single harvester and we'll see if there's a noticeable difference compared to using two. Now we just need to connect them to water filters and also run a power line.
Now let's pick up the crop we'll be growing. The crop choices you see here will depend on how many plant life you scanned and unlocked in this biome. If you feel there's not enough variety, you can always explore the rest of the map while scanning every plant you come across. And eventually, you will unlock every crop that can grow in this biome. I think I'll go with the brain fungus. It only produces palladium and uranium plus some biomass, but the weird shape of this fungus gives an eerie look that I think will look great with the aesthetics of this biome. After choosing a crop, I like to sterilize the area surrounding the cultivators. And what better way to do that than with the fully charged nook? As you can see, it kills everything in the area, including my FPS. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. After a while, I decided to filter more water out of nearby sludge pools so I can build more farms. And this is my brain farm. Uh, look at it, it looks really creepy. And if you check on the harvester, you can see that it is producing palladium. And this number will fluctuate widely, so I can't really tell if having just a single harvester is actually enough. Look at this one, it goes all the way up to 5 per second. We can build a second farm area later in another spot near a geothermal vent, but I want to check the total palladium output. But the orbital scanner doesn't show the stats for the biome you're on, so we'll pop back to HQ real quick. Let's open the orbital scanner again. And there it is, our plodium output in 6 per second. That's only half compared to my titanium farm, but that's fair because the number of cultivators is also half. And now, we'll do it all over again for uranium. The sky is barely visible now, and dust is getting everywhere. I hate dust storms. In the desert biome, I have several independent mining bases scattered all over the map. They have their own solar panel and batteries, but all the uranium is gone now, so I'm gonna sell everything and start from scratch. Of course, being on the desert biome means that I don't have any access to water. So unfortunately, I have to import some from another map. Thankfully, I have an abundance of water in HQ. So after running some mud through a series of filters, I can build some liquid compressors. These compressors can send any liquid across different biomes and on the other end, I can build a decompressor as the receiver. Warning! A hostile group of creatures is heading towards our base. Back in the desert, I think I found the perfect place to build my uranium farm. These rock formations have some natural choke points which can be easily defended. So I'll plug these choke points and run a wall along this open area and then build some towers to defend the entire thing. For power generation, I'm going with fusion. It doesn't need any fuel, but it does need cooling, so I'm gonna build a decompressor right next to it. The fusion power plant also produces plasma. I'll hook it up to a couple of plasma converters so I can have some heavy artillery.
So this is the base so far. I have fusion generator that is being cooled with water from HQ. It's also producing plasma which is being supercharged to feed 6 heavy artillery tower. I also plugged all the choke points with two layers of wall and sprinkled some towers periodically. To get the farm started, I connected some decompressor to six cultivators. After picking which crop to grow, don't forget to lay some floors beneath the buildings to avoid getting damaged from quicksand. Then all we need to do is start the water flowing into the pipes and run a power line alongside it. Warning! Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. After the crops have grown, we can see that the harvesters are now producing a steady supply of uranium. And it's pure uranium too, so we don't need to build any centrifuge to process cured uranium like the stuff we get from the mines. And that's my uranium farm. I'm gonna pop back to HQ to check the output from the orbital scanner. In the orbital scanner, we can see the total output of the desert biome, and yeah, that's a lot. Probably because I have six farms, plus an active mine and several centrifuges. So that's titanium, palladium, and uranium taken care of. And at this point, we can build just about everything in the game. And Ashley also gets her wish to cultivate the land and coexist with the local ecosystem. As for the other exotic materials, I just built the farms here on HQ. The output is not very high, but I don't need much of them anyway, so it's not really an issue. This is Darren Stein signing off.